Ancient Bible text tells a story on the famous episode of the Exodus, when the army of the Egyptian pharaoh was destroyed by the returning waters that Moses had parted, as long being considered to be a myth, but now there has been new discoveries that could change history and confirm that that episode on the Bible, in fact, it really happened. An underwater archaeologist's team has discovered the remains of a large Egyptian army of the 14th century before Christ, at the bottom of the Gulf of Suez, about 5 kilometers from the modern city of Rosgarub. The team was looking for the remains of ancient ships and artifacts related to the Stone Age and Bronze Age trade in the Red Sea area, when they came across a gigantic mass of human bones darkened by age. Scientists led by Professor Abdel Muhammad Gator and associated with the Faculty of Archaeology of the University of Cairo, have already recovered a total of more than 400 different skeletons, as well as hundreds of weapons and pieces of armor, also the remains of two cars of war, scattered in an area of approximately 200 square meters. They estimate that more than 5,000 bodies could be scattered over a wider area, suggesting that a large army has perished at the site. Many clues on the site have led Professor Gator and his team to conclude that the bodies could be linked to the famous Exodus episode. First, the old soldiers seem to have died on the mainland, as no traces of boats or boats have been found in the area. The positions of the bodies and the fact that they were stuck in a large amount of clay and rock, imply that they could have died in a mudslide or in a swell. The large number of corpses suggests that a large ancient army perished in the place and the dramatic way in which they were killed, both seem to corroborate the biblical version of the Red Sea crossing, when the army of the Egyptian pharaoh was destroyed by the waters returning that Moses I had separated. This new finding proves without a doubt that there was a large Egyptian army that was destroyed by the waters of the Red Sea during the reign of King Akhenaten. This amazing discovery provides undeniable scientific evidence that one of the most famous episodes of the Old Testament was based on a historical event. It brings a totally new perspective on a story that many historians have been considering for years as a work of fiction, and suggests that other issues such as the Egyptian plagues could have a historical basis. What they found strewn across the bottom of the Reed Sea has shaken the religious and scientific community, says Rood. Cameras mounted on remote-controlled submarines revealed coral-encrusted chariot parts, horse, and human remains strewn like battlefield wreckage on the bottom of the Reed Sea. Root also explained giant pillars have been found on both sides of the crossing to mark the event. One was discovered eroded on the Egyptian shore by the late American archaeologist Ron Wyatt. Later, another was located on the Arabian side with the legible remains of ancient Paleo-Hebrew inscriptions. He says the words for Pharaoh, De, Egypt, King Solomon, and the sacred name of God, are all present on the second pillar. Much more research and many more recovery operations are expected on the site in the coming years, as Professor Gator and his team have already announced their desire to recover the rest of the bodies and artifacts which has turned out to be one of the site's richest underwater archaeology ever discovered. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help 
economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.